how would uh, say a train? How would a training session differ uh, from the beginning of, or say, say the end of preseason to the playoff? If I were to choose uh, a random session the last week of the preseason and a random session the, in a playoff uh, week, uh, how would they look? I think it I, again. It comes down to. When you are with a club team, there's players that have been involved all summer with the national team program, and mm-hmm. players that haven't. And so there's a lot of catch up. And how do you balance? How do you balance that out? How do you balance so that everyone is at the same level? Yeah. There's obviously the volume. The volume changes, you know, a great deal. Where where you're doing, uh, you know, maybe seventy uh, percent more physical work compared to thirty percent. Thirty percent of 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 training work. And then that changes. It go. It starts getting into your seventy thirty to sixty forty to fifty fifty to then inverting it and, and going maybe you know twice a week with the weight sessions, but more in in the gym. So I think the volumes at the beginning are greater, whereas at the end it's more it's more specific. It's more brief, and uh, and also because of the um, uh, depends on the load of competition. That a uh, a team a team will have, uh, you'll definitely have to monitor that very very closely, and at the same time do walkthroughs where sometimes it's a video session and then you just go on the court and you do like in football uh, where they do the walkthroughs or in basketball where they just run mock plays to take a look at how it's done naturally ta- uh, you know touching a ball and addressing speci- specific areas. Mm-hmm. Um, so and and I think. Then the training session itself, because of the energy systems, you don't want your players to be depleted of energy. You want to keep it as as short and as specific as possible. 